Please welcome to the stage, Congresswoman Jasmine Crockett. Good evening. <laughs> Yes, I love to see it. Y'all are fired up. I love it. Good evening. <laughs> Y'all are too much. Good evening, my fellow Texas Democrats. <laughs> I see you. I see you. Again, I, I need it. Listen, y'all gave me a lot of energy, but I need a little bit more. Good evening, my Texas Democrats. That's what I love to hear. Now listen, I'm so glad that I'm in El Paso and away from the mess in DC. Y'all know it gets a little messy up there. Um, but my sorority, for those of you that don't know, I'm in a sorority. Do I have any sorority sisters in the building? All right, there they go. Oh, wait a minute, that ain't my sorority. That's key, we ain't me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So, so in my sorority, we have this thing that we do, and it goes something like this. Who are we? My sisters and me, we are the soul stepping stores of DST. All right, so we do that sometimes, right? But I, but I switched it up, I switched it up, all right? Because I'm not at a sorority meeting. So I want to change it up for the purpose of this evening. And when I say, who are we? I want you to respond with, my dims and me. And then I'll finish with, we are fighting for the soul of this country. All right, got it? We good? All right, good, all right. So I'm sure by now that y'all know about a certain someone talking about my eyelashes. <laughs> Yes, MTG is someone who calls herself a patriot and serves in what should be a respected body. Um, but you know, she wanted to take shots at my personal appearance rather than focus on the subject matter at hand in a recent committee hearing. So let me just say this, her utter disrespect towards myself, my colleagues, and quite frankly, our country is distasteful and adds nothing to our democracy. Now, I know that the former first lady, Michelle Obama, who we all love, that's right, said when they go low, we go high. However, <laughs> as a member of Congress, and even when I served in the State House, I've resorted to when they go low, we deliver straight facts and gather them accordingly. You see, what each of you saw take place a couple of weeks ago is nothing new. Unfortunately, all of MAGA are beholden to their little leader, and they will do anything to get his stamp of approval. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I don't know about getting the stamp of approval from a racist, sexual assaulting, twice impeached, 34 counts convicted felon, but this is the environment that we're currently living in. Again, who are we? My Dems and me. We are fighting for the soul of our country. All right, so as you can probably tell or you've seen on TikTok or IG or your TV screens, I stay ready with the facts because even though uneducated MAGA Republicans continue to spew harmful rhetoric and do everything in their power to keep us away from the ballot box, I'm committed to telling, as my dad, who's a minister, would probably say, the good news. But on a serious note, it is the rhetoric that we should all be concerned about. We have elected officials right here in our own state of Texas who continue to say the 2020 presidential election was stolen and that our neighbors shouldn't have faith in the electoral process. 
We have a former president who encouraged and fueled extremists as they stormed our nation's capital, or as I refer to it, the People's House, on January 6th. Lawmakers who don't have a uterus saying what a woman can do or can't do with her own body. People who never wanted voting rights to be a thing continue to claw back those same rights for us, specifically those of us that are black and brown. They continue with the egregious attacks on our kiddos and so much more. The fate of our neighborhoods, state, country, and quite frankly, in the world, it's in our hands. Again, who are we? My Dems and me, y'all catching on. We are fighting for the soul of our country. Which brings me to this moment in time. Listen, y'all, we are currently standing at a crossroads in this country, and in the words of Amanda Gorman, Presidential Poet Laureate, for there is always light if we're only brave enough to see it, if we're only brave enough to be it. We can talk all day about turning Texas blue, but the truth of the matter is that turning Texas blue doesn't come with fancy talk and empty hands. We have to train people. We have to ask people to run for office. We have to organize. We have to knock doors. Texas wants to implement the death penalty for women in need of abortion access. Let me repeat that. Texas wants to kill women that have decided that they need to take care of themselves and access abortion care. I don't know what in the handmaid's tale country we are living in, but we deserve what this country has promised us. We deserve what this country was founded upon. We deserve life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And see, there are those that think I'm crazy, because I tell people all the time that we're blue, and we are. Okay, see, y'all not clapping. See, y'all think I'm crazy. I need some claps. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why I know that we're blue. We have more African Americans in the state of Texas than any other state in this country. We also are a majority minority state. These are demographics that typically turn out and vote blue. Texas isn't a red state. We are a non-voting state. We're a voter suppressed state. And we are an underinvested state. But one thing that I know is that we Democrats, we know how to get the job done. And we know how to rise to the occasion. This is the very reason that they put warrants out for my arrest and to, for my colleagues' arrest when we fled the state. They knew our power. The question is, do we know our power? Do we know our power, Texas? So with that, my question is, when are we going to get to work? It's time, exactly now, it's time to use our power, our superpowers, to do some good in this country. Let's save this country. Again, who are we? That's right. And we're fighting for the soul of this country. Let's commit to donating, volunteering, knocking, calling, texting, educating, transporting and voting. Let's commit to empowering people all around us to stand in their power. You shouldn't go a day without at least one convo about the importance of being engaged in this election cycle. No one wins an election alone. This is a team sport and the blue team has the best roster of players without a doubt. So ask yourself, what am I gonna do to ensure that the blue team wins in 2024? We're gonna do this. Y'all just show up. I promise y'all, I love you, Texas Democrats. <laughs>